Alrighty, welcome back to Omni Garage. So, in the last video, you would have seen we've just finished aerating, so we pulled out these little cores, little pills out of the ground, and that was to help sort of add some oxygen into our soil here and also allowed us to have a little bit of hole so that we could then overseed. So, today we're going to overseed with Kaikuia seed. We're going to put some fertilizer over the top and then we're going to do a thin layer of topsoil, level it all out so we have a nice level lawn, followed by a little bit of seed on top. And um, I've sort of started already around the back of the house here, you can kind of see. This hasn't been leveled yet, I only got the leveling rake today, but um, when I level this all out, it should look pretty nice and flat. And we're just going to continue the drop of the section, it sort of drops to the back there and sort of drops down here, so that we've got decent runoff. So just for that little section around the back, and I've done a little section at the front, we sort of used... I got one and a half cube on this trailer, so we've used probably half of it. Um, I got premium screened topsoil, and I've also got another cube. I just got that dumped there today, and under that area there where it was dumped um, has been already seeded and fertilized under there because we won't be able to get it all up. A couple of wheelbarrows, some tools. This is the leveling rake I got today, and we've got our kaikuia seed and our starter fertilizer. Rovi seed spreader. The thing I have had trouble with is that the kaikui seed is very thin and it's got this sort of ready black tinge to it so in poor lighting conditions you can't actually see how much seed's coming out. I've had this on the lower setting and I've really struggled to work out the dosage and in the first little section around the back I've definitely overseeded. I've added too much seed. I've had to order some more and that's just because they're so fine and this thing on its lower setting has got quite an open gate on here. I don't know if you can see if we bring this back to setting number one that gate in there is quite wide and it's way too wide for the thin seed so if you are going to be using this with that seed just be a little bit cautious that you do have a tendency to overseed it's all right with the fertilizer because that's real big thick pills um, i'm so excited i just had a little go with this tool i recommend you spend the money and get yourself a living rate this is not very pricey you can spend quite a lot of money on them but um i had a little go at the front way better than raking i thought oh yeah i could rake and get away with it you spend too much time that thing is super legit i'm really happy i got that all right so i've seeded and overseeded lawns before never with kaikuia seed and this is this is raw kaikuia so there's no blend at all in here and this is insanely fine like look at that seed and the reason why I'm getting you to do it is because you have a tendency to be a lot more sparing with product. I mm. seem to just suck it down. Typical lawn seed. So, I mean, I'm familiar with tall fescue, fine fescue, probably about five, six times the size of that and a bit whiter in color as well. So, I mean, this is a, this is a premium kaikuia, not a blend, just straight kaikuia seed and it's really expensive as well. So I'll try not to blow through too much product here, but something that we're going to struggle with is the color of this as well. Like you are going to lose that so easily you can't see on the it. ground. Um, so I guess what I would recommend in this case is set your spreader on the lowest setting possible. Move really quickly. You do not want to be walking slow because this is going to spit the product out really quick. General way I do this is walk one direction and then go across ways as well to make sure we've got even spread. But what we're going to do here is a little bit different. We're we're overseeding, but what we're doing is we're, we made up our own term here, we're underseeding as well. So throwing out a bit of seed before we go and add any topsoil, hopefully some of that penetrates through the surface and some of these aerated holes that we've made. Then we're going ahead, spreading our topsoil and then seeding over the top again. So we can go really quick because we don't want to blow through a whole lot of this product. And this part of the lawn that we're about to do is here, it's pretty well developed already. It is. There's so we've already a got lot. a decent amount of kaikuia in here. So we don't want to use too much, you know, it's already going to do its do itself that that's enough i'd stop there yeah because how I'm, much have i'm you used? ideally not going to try and use all of that we'll have hopefully a bit left over so we're going to move quick okay. we're gonna move quick because we've still got this bag no no that's, no, that's the seat that's it oh wow okay that's the seat for the lawn i do have another bag coming which is arriving tomorrow hopefully okay i thought that we had this bag of seed as well no wow okay we're gonna have to be really quick and and see like it says there that one kilo does 200 square meters so you've got this set on the widest fan setting, yes? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna walk really, really quickly here because we don't wanna blow through this. Where are we going? We're going from here. So yeah. we'll use the corner of the house as a marker. Yeah. Okay, hold this really low to the ground as well. What you don't wanna do is hold it up here. You want the seat on the ground. You don't want the wind to pick it up, you want it down. So we're gonna pull this trigger and move really quick.
What's really deceptive there is normally as you spray that seed, you can see it flying out of here. You can't, And you eh? can see it on the ground. So what you're gonna wanna do is work out where you've stood there, probably come a couple of steps across. We're gonna do this in three passes. One this way, one that way, one this way. Come right back. And then one here, probably wanna move even quicker than that, but we do want even coverage. That's it. And how much have you used? A good amount. Yeah, see, this is why I get you to do it. Potentially I not as much as you would have used yesterday. I think that you would have probably done the same as I did. I bet you walked slower. And I couldn't see, and I was like, I wasn't sure, because that thing does get jammed every now and again. So when I got to about second step, I was hesitant, and I looked at it, and I thought, I need to, I need to stop and hold it here, because I think something's jammed. Luckily, I kept moving. That's what happened to me. All of a sudden, sudden I'd gone through the whole bag. I was yep. like, whoops. So we're going to set that aside. We do not want to spill that. So we've got some starter fert in here. This is easy. Just you can see this. this. You've done this before. Normal fert. Alright. One more pass. Okay, so we've started fertered. Yep. Plan here now is to basically start tackling some of this dirt in this wheel, or not in this wheelbarrow, move some of the dirt from this trailer into this wheelbarrow, get that leveling rake, start to work on this area here. This is probably the easiest area of the lawn. There are a few undulations in, uh, in this area over here in particular that will level out. Just spread out this whole section here. Glenn's coming behind with the leveling rake. That thing's fantastic. It's way easier than the rake. I wish I had this yesterday actually. Oh, it does get caught up if you have too much, but. Yeah, but I mean, that's the whole point, right? You want to use as little product as possible as I mean, well. it does help the dirt go a lot further than, you know, than you could probably get with the rake, so. I got this from Mitre 10, they got the same one at Bunnings, go grab yourself one. So what we're trying to do here, there is a gradual runoff on this lawn here, sloping toward the drain. So we're not trying to eradicate that. We're leaving that in place there because we do want runoff to head toward the drain. So the, the section sort of slopes that way and that way and then just into the drain here and it all runs off down that way too. Yeah, the key is though, we're trying to remove the bumps that are around that drain because if you eventually want to bring a cylinder mower on here, you don't want it jumping up and down. Yeah, totally. So super quick, we've probably been about 20 minutes to do this whole section. You'll have finished leveling this, I reckon five more minutes, and then we'll be able to push that trailer, move to the next section. So we've probably been working for about two hours and we've managed to complete this whole front two section. Hours. Yeah? Seven. Yeah, you're probably right. A little bit over two hours. But yeah, we had a lunch, dinner break in between break. and a beer break. So about two hours of work time. So we managed to complete this whole section here all the way to the front. And then we've come up pretty good. tucked it's that wheelbarrow all day. real tight for dirt, so there's a little bit of dirt left on the trailer. I've still got to do the, the that, council boom there. We've got a little bit of seed left. I've got another bag of seed coming tomorrow, which I'll use to overseed. 
I'll give it a nice big drink, but um, I think we're pretty close. If we bring this down to as close to the uh, ground level as we can here. Just over to the um, to the left hand side towards the beach, you can see there is a there was a massive sort of drop away hole that's always been there, and we have filled it up quite a bit. But I mean, it's a never ending pitted soil over there, isn't it? You yeah, but it's. Easy. It's more gradual that fall off now. I think the key here was to not try and get this lawn dead level from front to back. It was to get rid of all the humps and all the bumps in it because this area here, remember, so going down to that drain, you've got that gradient going down, but it's more of a flat gradient now. You haven't got all the holes that the lawnmower is going to bump I mean, around in. Probably take another half a cube of dirt to go in there. If you wanted to fill what, this section here? No, to fill that hole up there. That one there, you keep filling and filling, and the problem is you really need to compact that top soil for every couple of inches you add because you're going to end up with a, uh, a sinky area of the lawn where this is all really compacted, so... Yeah, because it does get quite thin through here and through that middle section does get thin, and then you can see the colour change, it does get heavy over there, but... I mean, all in all, two and a half cube. It's gone a long way, but I think that you could probably... Of seed. Easy get away with spreading another cube of soil on here. But I mean, this is probably something you then revisit in the next, you know, year or so, and just fill it up again and just keep building it up. We can. You can do a light overseed and uh, a light level on top of it next year. But basically, process from here on in is we've obviously well, we underseeded for the overseed, yeah. and we put some starter fert on there as well. So on top of this, once you've gone over a few more times with your leveling rake, going to go over again and essentially do a proper overseed now, a bit more starter fert on the top. You got a bit more. Water. Yeah, that's going to be the uh, the tricky bit. The tricky stage is going to be watering, right? Need to keep the water up on this in order for the seed to germinate. What between seven and ten days, you reckon, for it to start coming through? Got really good temps for it at the moment, but it's keeping the water on here. But process from here on out, I think, is to go over this a few more times with the leveling rake. You've obviously got that berm area to do. We should have enough soil there in order to do that. Overseed it again, starter fert it again. And then from there, it's a uh, watering and waiting process. So yeah, I think for the next part of the series, we'll probably be us coming back to you maybe in a couple of weeks' time just to show you what this is looking we'll like. An update. Hopefully we've got some sprouts coming through. That'll be quite cool to see. Yeah, you'll anyway. get a couple of weeks off mowing right now. And then, uh, yeah, I know. Relax during the summer because I don't have to mow. But Relax. You're going to be out here three times a day watering the lawn. Though, aren't I? Yeah. yeah, good luck to you. Get a get a comfy chair and put and your earpods um, in. We're just going to end it here because the neighbours have brought around a beer. So Oh, look at that. Cool. Well, on cue. Make sure you uh, stay tuned for the update in about two weeks' time. Other than that, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel so you get the updates, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.